We need to open the gate of Demon Rift and get to the Devil Dem as soon as possible. I need your help. Oh my God, these ladies are hot. Let I don't even you. know which one to look at. <laughs> and now they're flying. They're flying up. Now use Dragon Soul to attack the portal. Use Dragon Soul, Focus of course, no problem. Let me unleash the, the dragon to opens. open the gate. And here we go. This is fantastic. This is the Demon Rift. You can I need to show you more of this game. Through this game. Hi and welcome to this episode of Daydream District Discovers. In this episode I'm going to discover, or should I say, I'm going to rediscover Twilight Pioneers for Daydream VR. So Twilight Pioneers is an action role-playing game for Daydream VR and why do I say rediscover? Well, it has actually been one of the very first games for Daydream VR and why didn't I pay so much attention to it? Well, because my phone was constantly overheating, I couldn't play more than 5 minutes and so I gave it up. But now I tried again and now it works. Well, it could have to do with the fact that I'm now using the ZTE Accent 7 for this review and uh, well, it works much better, doesn't overheat so much and well, my Pixel XL is going back to Google for replacement. I think there's something wrong with it. Anyways. Now let's have a look at Twilight Pioneers. I found out that this game is actually incredible. It is fantastic and you have to download it. It's completely free of charge. So there's absolutely no reason not to not to download it. And you will see very soon that it's absolutely worth it, even if it was a paid game. Wave your sword to crush the rock. So here we're still very early in the game and uh, the game just teaches me how to use my different kind of weapons. So you have this sword, you have this sword with uh, lots of swords inside like this one you see. And now you can shoot with these swords. Then uh, oh, you have an incredible dragon but you will see that very soon. So I have just picked up my sword and now this beautiful lady that I have just freed. I'm so good. I just freed this lady and now she's teaching me how to use my different kind of weapons. So in this episode of Daydream Discovers, I'm going to play through the whole first chapter of this game. And uh, well, this whole first chapter was one of the first games available for Daydream VR. And actually, the developer of this game, they wanted to, 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 to launch the second chapter as a paid game. However, now they changed their mind and now you can also play the second chapter of Twilight Pioneers completely free of charge and wow, as you will see very soon, you have to do it. You simply have to get this game and play it. It's incredible. It's one of the best looking games out there and it's simply fun. So look at this now, you can unleash the dragon, you can really do unleash the dragon and then you can fly into your enemies or in the rocks as I'm doing here right now it's so satisfying it's very very satisfying and there are incredible enemies that you have to defeat through the course of this game and you will see them all in this episode of Daydream District Discovers so stay tuned stay tuned to this video and have a look so now this lady um, she has just taught me how to use my weapons. It's very simple. By clicking on the app button, you can uh, change your weapon. By waving with your motion controller, you can unleash the power of these weapons. And by clicking on the app button for a longer time, you will kind of unleash this kind of incredible dragon that can fly in your enemies. And by changing the direction, of your touchpad you will change the direction the flight path of this dragon incredible so now i have to defeat the elephant tyrant let's see how this is going to look like well i know it already it's going to look incredible it looks it looks fantastic so let's have a look at this one together and also i'm going to tell you a bit more about the control so i told you now already about the weapons but let me tell you how you move around well it's very simple of course you simply click into the direction where you want to go and then your character will follow it's 
It's interesting um, finally to have a game which doesn't use this kind of teleportation method but actually really it's like a first person shooter where you would simply move forwards or side or to the side simply by using uh, by clicking on that direction on your touchpad and I didn't feel sick at all not at all look at this boss how he looks like this this is incredible this is definitely one of the best looking if not the best looking games on Daydream VR right now. It's fantastic. Look at this boss and the animations. Everything is so smooth and uh, gigantic. If you see this in VR, if you see this elephant standing in front of you in VR, this is kind of awe-inspiring. You cannot really see this in this 2D picture that you see right now. You have to see this in VR and then unleash this dragon and have your dragon fly into this elephant. It's it's incredible and on top of this elephant you see those those kind of uh, spirit lines well this is actually the level of his health so I have to I have to hit him um, lots of times in order to have these kind of spirits go away and um, defeat defeat him so while I'm having my dragon fly into him he's still kind of um, Kind of throwing these rocks at me and so I have to avoid these rocks of course in order not to take damage. As I mentioned moving around works by clicking on the touchpad and if you would like to do some kind of dash like moving really fast in one direction then you would simply double click into that direction like I do now. This works exceptionally well and uh, especially during these boss fights this is control method that you have to use all the time in order to avoid the attacks of the enemy. So this elephant, I'm nearly done with him. Only one of those lights left. And I should be, I should be able to, to finish this guy with one unleashing of the dragon. That should be it. Yes. Great. Step aside. And here she is again, this lovely lady with this beautiful accent. Definitely sounds better than my English accent. And she kicks ass. Look at this. Incredible. Oh, I can't believe that this pearl of a game was lying dormant in my daily VR, in my Pixel XL, without being played. Oh my goodness. Do download Twilight Pioneers now. It's incredible that this is a free game and even the second chapter, which the developers have just released, is also completely free of charge. So this is, there's really no reason not to download this game now I if you haven't done so already. So let's check out how the next sub-level is going to look like. To catch it up and stop its evil plan. Get into the portal right now. Let's go to the world. The world. Is a place existing in ancient time and space. The dark power has been traveling in timeline for quite a while and finally stopped in here, with some unknown conspiracy brewing in his mind. Tracking the scent of Dark Lord, we arrived at the dungeon of the world. This place is where the demon rift was sealed, which connects the human world and North Devildom. Even those cutscenes and uh, this scene, for example, now between the levels look really cool and give you this kind of 3D effect now going through this tunnel and arriving in this new level, in this new world. And you can see some Chinese characters at the wall. This is definitely an Eastern inspired fantasy world, which has lots of lots of atmosphere. So let's walk a bit further here. Oh, it looks incredible. Oh my goodness. I can hardly contain myself. This looks so good. This looks so good, especially now. If you see this in VR, it's incredible. 
in the background you can see some temples and uh, and we ourselves seem to be walking through the temple area as well so now we have some enemies coming up and I cannot go through the next uh, area so it seems I first have to destroy all the enemies and this kind of gameplay it also does remind me a bit of classics like God of War for example where you also have to walk through these beautiful places and where you cannot go to the next area if you don't um, destroy all the enemies first however this is in VR and this is more this Eastern fantasy world and uh, wow it's it's very very well made and even now even this this um, this combat the combat against those enemies it works really well and it's fun it's fun it's fun to to use the dash motion and then to use your your weapons in order to defeat your enemies so there's one more and you see those arrows those red arrows they show you from which directions the enemies are coming so at no point in time will you wonder where the uh, yeah where the enemies are coming from or where you have to go as well so in terms of controlling this game it works flawless it works just as you would expect and now let me let me unleash the dragon again to destroy this enemy The dragon is definitely my favorite weapon here, since you can even control where it's going, and uh, it's cool. Also, yeah, these these swords are also great. You have like I think seven swords which are in front of you, and if you touch them with your touchpad, you will make them fly into the direction that you're looking at. So also very useful. Oh, somebody's angry at me. Somebody's angry at me. Uh, I can understand that. Well, oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Oh my goodness. This guy looks even more angry than the elephant. The barrier cannot hold up for long, so we need to defeat it before the barrier breaks. Okay, so we need to defeat him before the barrier breaks. My dear lady companion, she's so skillful, she's so skilled, she's incredible. She can fly and can do all kind of things. And one of these things, she can set up these barriers so that this guy, this evil guy, cannot come out to get me. But he, he seems to be able to throw his weapon at me. So yeah, this energy field could be a bit stronger though, I think. Anyways, let me unleash the dragon again. Oh, 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 I'm being hit here several times. Oh yeah, but the dragon, the dragon is so powerful. Fantastic. So so this enemy only has two of these lights left on top of his head. So I believe I can easily destroy him with one more unleashing of the dragon, perhaps. Oh, I'm I'm taking I'm taking damage here. So if you look down, you can see your own energy levels. So I only have like 50% left or so. Oh, okay. This is bad. So let's try the swords here now, the flying swords. Only one light left on top of this enemy. So I should be able to win really, really soon now. So again, I have to stress how incredible this game looks like. This is fantastic. It might already look good in 2D now, what you can see here now on YouTube, but if you're in VR and you have this huge enemies right in front of you, oh my goodness, this is a game that you simply have to play, especially because it's free. And this guy, uh, oh, this coward, he's running away. Well, of course, of course he cannot compete against me and this incredible companion of mine. So, let's follow him, I would say, huh? Should we? Should we follow? Or should we stay here in a cool position? I think she just told me I should go alone. Okay, so let me quickly go and follow this guy and see where, is he, where he's headed to. 
demon rift was sealed inside of the dungeon. With full of demon scent emitting out from the rift of ages. And the dark power gathers and devours the whole buildings. Demons in the tower are waked up upon your arrival and begin to attack the invaders. You. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This looks so good. <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't believe how good this is looking. Especially, of course, in VR, you have to see this. These statues, these statues are huge. And I'm now walking right um, next to them. So these statues are looking incredible. And the 3D effect, the whole VR effect is incredible. And at the same time, I'm, I, ha I have to defeat those enemies who are coming at me. I can't believe that this game is free again. Download this now. This is simply incredible. So let me defeat those enemies here. Let's try the swords. I really want to get to the next stage and get closer to those statues in the background. Just, just to adore them. Just to adore this artwork of Twilight Pioneers. So the developers are um, they're coming from Hong Kong. And uh, if the developers are watching this video right now i'm really sorry that i didn't check out your game earlier but i simply couldn't because my phone was giving me problems of course this game must be really tough on a phone and there's so many things going on first of all you have this beautiful artwork all around you completely rendered in 3d and then you have these these huge enemies the huge enemies that are coming at you from all the sides and your own weapons are also completely animated in a great way. You see this dragon that I can that I can control now and uh, the interactions of this dragon with the enemies. Everything has to be rendered by the phone. So there's lots of lots of things that have to be computed in real time on the Daydream Ready phone. So this is definitely, definitely taxing for these devices. And as I told you in the very beginning, this game was overheating my Pixel XL within a couple of minutes. So that's why I couldn't check out this game. But now I can and I'm happy that I could. That's why I dedicate this whole Daydream District Discovers to Twilight Pioneers playing through the whole first chapter. And again, you can download this for free right now. And even you can play chapter two that I'm not going to play in this Daydream District Discovers. But you can play it completely by yourself and explore it by yourself. So you might wonder how about the frame rate glitches that you can see in this video. Well, I can tell you I do have problems when I have to cast things. So I'm recording this by casting this with Chromecast and I do lose a few frames here and then. It did not look like this in VR. It was much smoother. So well, you will see it for yourself when you download this game and when you play it. You won't have this kind of frame rate issues that you experience here during this, this video. Oh, and now look at this. The statues kind of help me build the bridge. And in the background, my dragon is still flying off. Love it. Really, really, really love Twilight Pioneers. And I can't wait to play the second chapter later. Ah, oh, here is again this guy. Oh, no, this is another guy. This is some kind of fire enemy. No problem for me, I would say. Oh, and he's running. Okay, so I'm using the double dash. The double click on the button to dash. So now what should I unleash at this guy? Let's use the swords. And then when he comes at me, I'm going to I'm going to avoid him. And I'm going to run away. And hit him again with the swords. So this. This is not the, the boss enemy, but this is kind of a normal enemy. But still, this guy is strong. This looks epic. Look at this. Look at the background. Look at this enemy. <laughs> look at my swords. 
And this guy is done. Great. So now I can move on to the next level here. Perfect. You are in the core area of the dungeon. Where the thickest demon scent gathers. And the servant of Dark Lord, Ox Tyrant, is waiting for you here. Defeating him will help you find the trace of Dark Lord. Oh, I didn't expect you to get here. So the Ox Tyrant is waiting for me in this level. Oh, I'm looking forward to defeat this guy. Oh, yes. But at the moment, I still can't. I have to go here, and then he, I'm sure he's going to talk to me. Let's listen in. This guy is pissed. Oh, this guy's super huge. <laughs> this guy is super, super huge. It looks incredible in VR. Just, just imagine how this looks in VR right now. You are standing there and in front of you is this huge ox tyrant. This might be the biggest enemy that I've seen in this game so far. And he also moves with with grace and with um, with the very smooth animations done by the developers here. Nice. So, how to defeat this enemy? Well, I believe my best chances are by running around as soon as I can with, the, with this double dash click. And then, um, during the running phases, I'm going to charge my weapons. Like, for example, the, the dragon or the swords. And then, I think I have good chances. So, let, let me run a bit around this guy here. This very, very impressive enemy. The Ox Tyrant. Oh, look, look the, and his... His um, status lights on top of his head, they are not blue, they are red. So it shows us this guy is especially dangerous, or this is the end boss. At least this is the end boss of this chapter one. And, oh, I don't know, I don't know why I died right now. I seem to be in this great position behind this guy. I don't know, anyways, I'm dead right now, but I really, really would like to finish this guy so i'm going to try again because in this episode of daydream district discovers i do want to play through the her the whole the whole first chapter of twilight pioneers so let me try this again so my strategy for defeating this boss is running around this guy running around this guy and having my weapons load up during running around and then i'm going to unleash all of the energy of my weapon onto this guy and then I'm going to run around again so I'm, I'm gonna get a good workout here <laughs> running in circles around this boss yeah so for unleashing the the sword for example you have to shake your controller and then those swords will materialize in front of you and you simply have to touch them and um, the ones that you touch with your with your controller, they will fly towards the enemy. Yeah, I think this strategy is a good one. This might be the winning strategy. You don't see so much of, of this guy <laughs> while I'm running around him. But um, yeah, I think it works. So let's run a bit further around him. So I don't know how long this will take to defeat this guy. I hope not too long. I definitely would like to stay under the 30 minutes mark for this video. So if you have reached this point in time, it's already like 24 minutes. So please do tell me, do leave a comment in the comment section below if you have really watched until here. If you have watched the whole video until here, until the 24 minutes mark, do leave me a comment. I really want to know who is watching these videos until the end, especially the long ones. I mean. The videos that are like uh, 8 to 10 minutes long, it's kind of easy to watch. But if it goes over the 20 minute mark, well, I don't think so many people are going to watch it. So if you made it until here, please let me know who you are. I really want to know who is who watched until here. Well, I'm sure it's, it's really worth it to watch until here. This is a good video. This is a great game. It's for free. 
and wow it's definitely worth it to get a daydream ready phone just to play this kind of game in VR this is really really breathtaking but now let's see how many lights does this guy still have on his head hopefully I can get under the 30 minute mark for this video though oh only two left only one left okay we are very very close to defeating this guy very close so probably only one or two times left that I have to run around this guy and now I think one more time now now I'm going to unleash the dragon this is going to finish him off that's it mr. ox tyrant yes that's it that is it So now my dear lady companion should arrive soon and you should be seeing the scene that you saw in the very very beginning of this video where those two beautiful ladies talk to each other and then where I unleash the dragon to open the dragon gate so this should happen now and there look at what happens now oh yeah pretty I have to admit it but who are you? Who My are you? Uh, she seems to be a bit arrogant. Mage retreat. In our guild, there is a magical mirror that can foresee the future. She was inside this the Ox Tyrant. She has all the rights to be a bit arrogant here. Strong power of <laughs> oh my goodness. They have done such a good job with those ladies. They are really very, very pretty, I have to admit it. And... Uh, the darkness gets here nice it's really space. fun to look at them in VR purpose that we do not know I can feel that the dark power has been transferred let's to listen to them a bit through demon rift we need to open the gate of demon rift and get to the devil as soon as possible I need your help to open the gate of demon rift let us help you Yeah, so this is the final scene where I unleash the dragon again in order to open this dragon rift gate and uh, let's marvel at this one more time. This is the demon rift. You can reach the north devildom by passing through this gate. So that's it for chapter 1 of Twilight Pioneers for Daydream VR. I really hope you enjoyed this playthrough just as much as I did. So that's it for this episode of Daydream District Discovers or should I say Daydream District Rediscovers because this is one of the very first games for Daydream VR and they have just come out with a second chapter which is also completely free. So do pick up Twilight Pioneers for Daydream VR. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to Daydream District yet, do so now. Keep on daydreaming and see you in the next video.